Welcome to a new topic in uh, computer applications and concepts. Do you know the topic of today's lecture? File management. Actually, we will not have a lecture today. So what will we have? We will have a lab. The first lab in file management. I will show you step by step how to complete file management lab one so to get started you need two files the first file is called source files .zip, located on blackboard you need to go to assignments and then click on learning module week three you will see labs folder and then you have two files here under uh, file management lab one Okay, uh, I might change the location in the future, but you know that for this lab you need two files. The first file is sourcefiles.zip. The second file is file management lab onedocx This file here, this is the instructions. This file here, this is the files that you need uh, to have to complete the instructions in this lab. So if I click on the zip, it will download automatically. I can click on the down arrow and choose show on, uh, in folder. Take it from here. And then paste it on the desktop. So I have one file. I need a second one. The second one is, I click on it show source and then cut it or do you know what let's take that's all right i will just take the one that i just downloaded and then i will paste it here to cut control c you need to select the file press control c to paste you press control v okay, one more time i will go back to the download file actually I already pasted it here here you see it okay now the name of the file is not the same because when I downloaded it I had one before in the same folder so Microsoft Windows it changed the file by adding one at the end of it so to fix that I right click on the file and then choose rename and then click at the end of the file name backspace until I remove number one but in your scenario uh, you should not have this issue because I assume that you are downloading the file for the first time so basically you have two files this is the first one and this is the second one so which one do you open first yes you're right you need to open the instructions first but let's look at this one this is what kind of folder is this folder it's a zip folder what does it mean to have a zip folder it means that the files inside this folder are compressed that's why it see it says that in the uh, hint if I double click on it I have a regular folder double click on this folder I have many files all right so now let's look at the uh, instructions double click on the file to open it and let's go ahead and uh, uh, as a way of opening or as a rule when you open any uh, Microsoft document from Blackboard uh, Microsoft uh, stops some features from running inside the document but we need these features to be working so I will make sure to enable editing right in the future when we get to Microsoft Word I will explain to you why you have to deal with this uh, bar the yellow bar that says enable editing and how to uh, trust the documents once you open it from blackboard but that's not the topic of our uh, video today the topic of our video today is yes you're right file management lab one you need to read the items covered here I will not read it for you you read it on your own let's look at the instructions so you get started from here these are the instructions 
So the first step it says open file explorer. Uh, how do I open file Explo explorer? Uh, window key and letter E on the keyboard. That will open the computer window. Or if you don't like to open it this way, you can just click on the uh, window down here. I will just close uh, any open windows and then I will open it again. Once you open it, it will open the file explorer window. So you can use the icon located on the, on the task bar here to open the file explorer. Or if you like to use keyboard shortcut, window key E and that will open the computer window which will give you access to all of the files inside your uh, machine. All right, now I will do it the easy way using the mouse click. I open the file explorer. So uh, now I have one window here and one window here. How can I read the instructions and work at the same time? A good way to do that, do you see this window here? If you click on the title, not inside the documents, you, you have to click on the title itself and then drag it to the edge. Look, you have to look at the mouse. Look at the mouse cursor here. This mouse must, this mouse cursor or arrow must touch the right edge or the left edge, wherever you uh, would like to snap it. I need to snap this window. So I will drag it to the right side here. Now the instruction window or uh, document is snapped to the right side. I need to snap the explorer, file explorer to the left side. Now I have both of them side by side. Okay, so let's say it says open file explorer. I'm done with this one. Second one, click on documents. So file explorer here has a navigation pane on the left side. And if I look here, I see document. If you don't see it, it should be inside libraries. So if you expand libraries and then documents. Right, now create the following folder hierarchy inside the documents folder. Where is the hierarchy? The image is below, so you need to scroll down. You need to drag and then scroll down. So it says here I have uh, uh, one folder immediately inside the documents folder. So you must click on the uh, document folder and then go inside the document folder, uh, right click, right and then it choose new and then folder and then I will type software so that is the first one and then press enter so I created the first uh, folder right I, I need to uh, change something here quickly you don't have to do that I, I'm just doing that because uh, I don't want to have two files with the same name so I will go back to software when I double click on software, it's empty. So I need more space on this side. If I need to go back to uh, the parent folder, which is document, document is the parent folder for software. You can either click on document here or you can go back. So if I click on document, it will take me back to documents. So inside software, look, this is the parent. And then I have some nested folders inside software. So I need to open software first. You cannot do it inside document direct. So I need to open software first. And then it says create Acrobat Reader. So right click. This is just, once you get the first one, all of them are very simple. And then what is the name of that a child folder here? It says Acrobat Reader. And then I will press enter. Right now, Acrobat Le Le Reader has a child folder inside it. So I need to open Acrobat Reader and then right click any empty space, any empty space inside the folder. And then it choose new and then folder PDF, enter. So now I finished software Acrobat Reader PDF. Okay, now look at Acrobat Reader and look at the file that is at the same level as Acrobat Reader. PDF is not at the same level as Acrobat Reader. The image is showing you exactly. So Microsoft Access must be created at the same level as Acrobat Reader. So now, in here, do you see Acrobat Reader in this empty section? No, I see PDF. 
so I need to go to the parent folder no acrobat reader software so software is the parent folder for acrobat reader and Microsoft access so now I see acrobat reader here look here you see acrobat reader Microsoft Access it is the same level as Acrobat Reader. So to create Microsoft Access, you need to see Acrobat Reader. So you create both of them at the same level. Right click any empty space and then new and then folder. And then I will type Microsoft and then Access. Actually, you need to follow, uh, I, I need to fix that. This is uh, lowercase, so Microsoft Access, that's perfect. Okay, now, Microsoft Access has two folders inside it. So you need to double click on Microsoft Access, any empty space here, right click, and then it choose new folder. And then the first folder is ACCDB, enter, right click, any empty space, and then new, and then folder, and then M D B you watch the folder name from here All right now let's look at the Microsoft Excel is Microsoft Excel at the same level as MDB no so I need to go up level up one level so now is Microsoft is at the same level as Microsoft Access yes so here in this window any empty place you right click and then it choose new and then folder and then MS Excel so Microsoft Excel is at the same level as Microsoft Access as you see here at the same level as Acrobat Reader so Microsoft Excel has two folders inside it so you need to open Microsoft Excel and then right click any empty space new folder and then create the first folder which is XLS and then right click any empty space and then new and then uh, folder and then call the second one X L S uh, X. So I have two folders inside Excel. Now let's look at the folder below that Microsoft PowerPoint. Which folder is at the same level as Microsoft PowerPoint? Microsoft Excel. Okay, so now do I see Microsoft Excel in this empty window here? In this window, I have two folders, but I don't see Microsoft Excel listed. So I need to go back up one level and then right click in in any empty space new and then folder and then a type Microsoft uh, power uh, points and then enter okay now there are two folders nested inside Microsoft PowerPoint so I will double click on Microsoft PowerPoint and then right click any empty space new and then folder and then I will type PPT and then I, I will create another uh, folder here that is called PPTX. Now, uh, below PPTX, I have MS Word, Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is at the same level as Microsoft PowerPoint. So I need to go up level, up one level to be able to see Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I will create another folder here that is called MS Word and then enter. Okay, now MS Word has two folders, so I need to inside it, inside it. I need to double click. By the way, look what happened when I when I click only once. It gives me the ability to change the folder name. I don't want to do that. I So to get out of that, you either click, press escape on the keyboard or click anywhere inside the, any empty space inside the uh, folder. So I will double click on Microsoft Word, create two folders inside it. The first one is called DOC and then create another folder here. And the second one is called DOCX. All right, now I need to scroll down in my instruction to see the remaining of the image. And now uh, I have Notepad. Notepad is at the same level as Microsoft Word. So I need to go up one level. And here I will right click any empty space you have to be careful don't right click on top of another folder you need to uh, right click any empty space and then new and then folder and then I will call this one note uh, pad and then press enter notepad has one folder inside it that is called uh, txt 
txt so now uh, I need to create paint so I need to go back up one folder or go back here or click on software direct all of them will give you give you the same results so if I click on software it will put me on the software folder which is the parent folder for all of the folders that I'm creating right now for this scenario so I need to create another folder that is called paint and then press enter and then paint has two folders inside it the first one is called jpeg and the second one is called png so double click on paint right click any empty space inside paint and then create a folder jpeg and then right click any empty space and then it choose new and then a folder and then i will call it png so now am i done let's click on software what happened if I click on documents if you click on documents it will show you software you double click on software now I have all of the parent uh, folders and if I check so I have software that's the pair that's the parent folder uh, Acrobat is a child of software Microsoft access my look compare you need to compare you need to make sure that you have Acrobat reader Acrobat reader Microsoft access Microsoft access Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, you need to make sure all of the parents are listed in the software. And then to uh, verify the creation of uh, a child folders inside the Acrobat Reader, you need to double click the Acrobat Reader. It has PDF, Microsoft Access, it has two ACCDB, so I'm good. I created all of them. So I, need, I encourage you before you submit your assignment to confirm that you have these folders uh, inside uh, your uh, folder uh, tree. So going back to the instructions, we are not done yet. It says here create a folder by the name computer component inside the documents folder. So where do I need to go? You can click on documents up top here that will put you inside the documents folder or you can click on documents from the navigation pane on the left panel so I have software it says you need to create a computer components folder inside that documents not inside software so I need to go to the document folder and then right click any empty space new and then folder and then I will call it uh, computer uh, components All right and then press enter so I have computer components and I have uh, software. I have, uh, so let's read what is next. Move the software folder to the computer components folder you just created. So to move this folder, you can click on it, drag, until you position it on top of the computer component folder, or you can go to the, make sure that you highlight it, Make sure that software is highlighted, select it, go to the home tab, and then it choose uh, cut. What happens if I choose copy? Copy will not move it. Copy will take a copy of the file and leave the original. But m cut will take the file and move it to a new location where you paste it. So I will choose cut, double click computer components, and then I will choose paste. So now let's go back to documents. Do I have software? Software is gone. And that is the difference between cut and uh, copy. Clear? Good. So now let's uh, uh, double click on computer components here. Do I have all of the folders? In yes, I have software folders, child folders inside the software folder. So that's great. So that means that I'm good at this point. Okay, now create a hardware folder at the same level as software. Well, how do I do that? As the same level so I must see software folder so that's software now if I go back here so you click on computer components folder to be able to see software now any folder you create here will be at the same level as software right click and then new folder and then I will create a folder that is called what it's called hard hardware and then press enter so I have two folders hardware and software now your new folder structure should look as the image depicted below. All right, now let's go down here. 
excuse me uh, look at the image depicted here your new folder structure or tree should look like this how do you do that if you look at the left panel here here I have computer components right if I expand computer components I see hardware and uh, software let's go ahead and maximize this window maximize the entire window completely and then uh, click on this down arrow here this down arrow shows you all of the folders that you access recently all right so if you need to go to a specific folder for example if I click on computer components it opens computer uh, components directly directly and it takes me to uh, that uh, location all right so now I need to expand the folder structure to make sure that I have all the folder I created your folder structure should look like this range here computer component I have two folders hardware software and the side software I have these folders and I have the uh, child folders uh, as well if you go to uh, let's say this is all collapse so to collapse them again you click on the arrow here and this will collapse all of the folders all right and then collapse here if I click on documents and then go to computer component click on it navigation pane look it says here expand folders show all folders and then show favorites you can change the navigation you can even uh, move the navigation pane from here so you need to click on view click on navigation pane this is for you uh, so uh, uh, if you need more room for yourself you uh, remove the navigation pane so you click on it once you display it you click on it again you hide it so the navigation pane now is displayed so I will uh, click on documents under documents I will expand my documents and then I will click on computer components now let's go to navigation expand to open folder right and then go back here show all folders that will show you all of the folders and then go back here I can show favorites as well so now I have the entire navigation pane with all of the folders inside it so please everyone remember that you can control the navigation pane view by going to the view tab and click on navigation pane and select uh, by default uh, the navigation pane and show favorites are selected these two here's usually do you see what happened when I choose show all folders it displays the folders when I uncheck it it collapses it all right do you see the list here now let's uncheck it do you see the difference do you see the list here I hope you get the difference between uh, checking and unchecking it expand folder here uh, these two here by default are not selected and the navigation pane you need the navigation pane you need to show the favorites but that's not the topic of our lab day let's go back and look at the instructions so I will drag this window to the left panel I verified that I have all of my nested folder that matches the image in the lab so before you submit you need to make sure that the folder tree looks exactly like the image in the lab here the second image okay now what is next do we have oh whoa, 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 whoa. we have more instructions so download the source files located under file management one we already that and then we need to extract it inside the document folder 
So I have this file here. I need to extract it inside the document folder. So how do I uh, extract this file? I will right click on the file and then choose extract all. And then I will choose browse to choose the location. It's under libraries, documents. All right, and then my documents. And then I will click okay. And then extract. And then I will choose here, I have a folder already because I was, I was practicing this uh, lab before I started recording. So I will uh, click on uh, uh, replace files in this destination. So now do you see inside my documents here folder, I have sources or source folder. Double click on it. I have many files. So now let's go take this on the left side and open the instructions on the right side. So I'm done with number eight. Open the extracted, uh, open the extracted folder source files. I already did. Source files. Here, this file here. Actually, this should be just source because the extracted folder name is uh, source. It changed the view to a uh, details view. So I will go to view tab on top. And then I need to choose details. It's already details. So I don't have to do much on this one because it's already uh, selected. But if it is, for example, large icons or list, you need to change it to details. Please, everyone remember to do that. It changed the width of the type column so you can see so do you see type here do you see type the width is not showing the type of each document so I will uh, click on the line that separates size from type and then drag right click left click and then hold keep holding and then drag right that will stretch and show you the uh, type of each file so please everyone read that you read you need to read the name or the type of each file located this is very important because the next part will ask you to do something that relates to the file type so drag this to the left panel here and now uh, display the file extension so file extension usually uh, is three uh, letters at the end of the file name and uh, you put dot before it and the reason you need a file extension because the operating system knows what program is capable of opening this file it, it, it helps you to find out the type of uh, the uh, file and you can work with it and you know how to uh, it change make changes to it so how do I display the file extensions you are right you go to view and then you make sure that you select file extensions so now look at the extensions here please everyone you need to read these extensions here because we will use that throughout the semester you need to understand each extension here and then in the uh, next item I will uh, ask you to put each file in the folder that relates to it or that looks similar to the file extension in here so if for example if you see doc which folder do you put it in you put it in the doc folder but you will have to have them open side by side but let's read the instructions first it change each file name to your first name last name for example if your first name is John and your last name is William the file name should be John William so you need to change the file name to change the name of each file you right click on the file and then it choose rename and then you need uh, please everyone you need to put your personal first name and last name but in this scenario I will just demo using John William and then press enter that will change the file name you need to do that for each file here it change each each file this is very important so I know that this submission is your submission not someone's else submission 
if you submit the files with anyone else name or you leave it first name last name you will not get points for this lab I'm making it clear please remember to uh, 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 change the file name as described in the instructions don't change the file extension so I don't want someone to come here and then type uh, right click on the file and then choose rename and then say okay well my name is uh, Sam uh, Burke and then I'm going to delete the extension no you cannot do that you cannot do that. you will lose points immediately if you do that you leave the extension alone don't touch uh, the extension please so I will go ahead and right click rename and let's say your name is John William you leave the extension the dot you don't take the dot out you don't take the extension out leave both of them right and then press enter that will change you, d you do that for all of them I don't have time for the video uh, to change the name of for all of the files but in your scenario you must change the name of each file to match your first name and your last name move each file from the source uh, file I will need to change that here from the source uh, folder to its corresponding location in the folder hierarchy that you created computer components so let's go back here take source file on one side and then I need to press for example let's say uh, the window key and E to open a new file explorer window and now I will go to documents click on computer components and then now let's look at the first first file let's say DOC so guess where do where DOC should go inside your hierarchy open hardware I have nothing so I need to go back it's not in hardware open software DOC will go inside Word and I have DOC so someone will tell me do I need to dig in inside the folder tree every time I need to take the file from here put it in here inside the folder no you don't have to so I need a, an easy way to do that you display the folder tree from the navigation pane and that will make it a lot easier so you 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 open all of the folders here open all of the folders one by one one by one okay now DOC so where is DOC DOC is here so you click on DOC first to make sure it's open and then you click on this file and drag it inside the OC now second one MDB look in here where is MDB here you click on MDB you make sure that you see MDB listed in the address or path of your folder or the location of MD, MDB folder and then drag MDB to that location now PPT where is PPT you click on PPT and then take this folder from here put it here now PPTX okay where is PPTX in the folder structure I created it is here I click on it and then I take PPTX drag it and position it and uh, put it inside the folder okay now TXT where is TXT I click on it and then drag this folder from here put it inside TXT XLS okay where is XLS X XLS it is here so I click on it and then drag this file put it here XLSX click on the file folder and then drag this file put it here all right and now I have ACCDB so someone will say it's too much to drag the files from here you can continue doing that until you position all of them or do you know that you can expand it directly 
computer components, software, and then you open all of them here in the same window. So you don't have to go from one window to another window. So now I have ACCDB. So where ACCDB should go, it should go here. So instead of, if you click here, you will lose the location, the, the file source folder. You will go to another folder. So you don't click anywhere here. You just take the file direct and then go to ACCDB. Where is it? It's here. So second one. DOCX, you click on the file, drag it, and then keep going through them until you see DOCX, you let go. Okay, JPG, you click on it, drag it, JPEG, okay, now PNG, and you let go on top of PNG. So now, if I go here, you will be surprised. PNG, JPEG. TXT, DOCX, DOC, all of the files are located in the corresponding folder that matches the file extension and that's basically what you need to do to uh, locate the, or put the files inside the corresponding folder. That's what I mean by this item here. Move each file from the source folder to its corresponding location in the folder hierarchy or tree or structure that you created, which is called the computer component. All right? Now, create a zip folder inside the documents folder. So I need to click where? I need to go to documents. And now it says here, create a zip folder in the document folder. Right click and then new and then I choose a zip folder. What is the name of that zip folder? Make sure that this is highlighted and then start typing immediately. The zip folder is called file management dot zip. You don't change the extension and then press enter. Okay, now read the next point. Copy the entire computer components folder to the file management. Okay, well, copy the file, the computer. Now you are not moving, you are copying. So to copy the computer component folder, well, I lost the file management.zip. How do I get it back? I go back to my documents or documents, double click on file management. Right, and then now I got it back. I need to copy computer components. So one way of doing that, you right click on it and then you choose copy. And then come back to file management folder, right click and then choose paste. This will copy it. All of the folders and files inside, inside it, correct? Okay, I don't have files here, but if I click on, let's go to where? File management.zip. Double click on it. And then software. The last one we moved the text. Okay, now, yes, I have it. So it's moving the file, which is good. So I already copied the entire computer components folder to the file management.zip folder. Now submit your solution. What is the solution? The file management.zip via Blackboard. Where is file management.zip? It's located inside documents, this file here. I need to submit this file to Blackboard. How? But before you submit the file, I don't want you to submit an empty zip file. You confirm that you have folders and files. Double click on it. Double click on computer components, software, randomly check that you have files like this one. And the file must match your first name and your last name. If it doesn't match, you will get zero for the lab. So to submit that, I will go ahead and close the uh, uh, lab and close the source file and then I will go to Blackboard and on Blackboard here I will go where? To file management lab 1. Click on it and then I will go down here, browse my computer. Where is my zip 
folder it is located inside documents inside documents I have a zip folder what is the zip folder name file management.zip here open now I have the file located here make sure that you see the file name here and you must click on submit once you click on submit it will take the entire folder with the files with the folders and then upload it to blackboard to confirm that your submission is successful you will see here attached files and you'll see the name of the zip uh, file you will see it here if you don't see it here it means that you did not upload the file to look at it you click on it and then it will download to your computer and then you can look at it step by step and then click on ok or if uh, click on ok let's click on, on ok first if you decided that for example you did something wrong you got out of here I will go to assignments again and then learning module week 3 and then go to uh, labs and then click on uh, file management if you scroll down here it will give you a, an opportunity to submit it again so if you decided that you did something wrong after you submit it you can go here and click on browse my computer and I will grade the most recent uh, submission and then it choose uh, the zip folder here and then click open and then click on uh, submit if you click on submit it will take a t some time here and then it will show you here that you have a submission and if you need a new submission you can start a new submission but uh, I recommend that you submit only one version which makes it easier if you submit more than one I will only grade the most recent submission and then click on OK and the, that takes us to the end of our uh, lab file management lab one uh, thank you for watching and I hope you will have uh, a wonderful uh, time. Uh, thank you everyone. Bye-bye.